Hey YouTube, today I just wanted to share a recipe that I believe is much, much simpler and also much more biblically accurate than what I've shared or actually ever seen anyone else do for Passover. And that is baked unleavened bread cakes. Now, unleavened bread is usually in the format of what I've seen to be flat bread that is almost dry and thin like crackers. And this is what I've done for quite a few years, but in the last year or two, I've really got to thinking about what it says in Exodus, specifically chapter 12, verse 39, where it says, And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they brought forth out of Egypt, for it was not leavened, because they were thrust out of Egypt and could not tarry. Neither had they prepared for themselves any victual. In the Strong's Concordance, that word cakes actually does mean cakes. It means disc or cake of bread or cake baked on hot stones. So it really is a cake of bread. And what we see here, whether it's store-bought or homemade, these matzah crackers or flatbreads don't look anything like a cake. So we can say right off the bat that even though I am going from my imagination of what I believe a baked unleavened bread cake would look like, it definitely doesn't look like what we've been doing. So I would just like to share my recipe with you and let me know in the comments what you think. So this recipe that I have here is very, very simple. It's two cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and to that I would add one cup of very warm water. And once I've had that all mixed in, it's going to be a nice little dough. And that dough will then be formed into little cakes. So I'll take the dough and it made, with this recipe, it made 12 circular little cakes. And just as an experiment, I baked six of them in the oven and I cooked or baked six on a pan with no water or oil in it. And I found the ones, I found the ones on the pan looked more similar to what I think it would have looked like and also tasted pretty good. I found the ones cooked on the stovetop tasted better. So going forward, I will still use the unleavened bread cracker type for the rest of the week of unleavened bread just to have a variety. But for the memorial, which is the very first evening of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, I will be making these unleavened cakes which I do think are actually a lot more similar to what it says that they had in Exodus chapter 12 on that very first Passover. Hope you are doing well. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in trying something new, give it a try. God bless.